Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. I have yet another box opening, or box day as most people would call it. But anyway, there is something really cool in this box and I'm going to show you what it looks like here in a second. Be right back. Hello everyone, welcome. I finally got things out of the box and it is exactly what I said it was. It's a Puppet Master uh, series. There's a total of four of them from the NECA uh, line of uh, the Puppet Master characters. I did get the first two about three weeks ago, uh, Pinhead and Tunneler. And one thing I've noticed about these uh, figures, as they are incredibly small, we can't get them to stand up, especially uh, Pinhead. No matter what I do, I cannot get him to stand up at all because his feet are too small for his body. So I don't know what to do. It's a careful balancing act, and if you can get him to stand, guess what? He's going to fall over, okay? So there needs to be a solution to that situation. They don't even have the holes in the bottom of the feet in order for you to put them into the NECA stands. I might have to tap out some holes and do it that way. That's possibly the only way to do it. Or glue them to the stand, which is what I might do. But if you got any kind of suggestions on how to actually get these guys to remain standing, maybe in a box or something, I don't know. Uh, let me know because I want to display them, but obviously they're too small uh, to stand. Now, Tunnler does stand okay, he, because his feet are a little bit flat-footed. But outside of that, um, I can't get uh, Pinhead to stand up. See, I can get him to stand up. But anyway, let's get into these guys here. All right. Now, usually when you go through Big Bad Toy Store, they give you this here. They always seem to come in their boxes that advertise their, uh, their toys and stuff. Okay. All right. Puppet Master. Okay, now this is Blade and Torch, okay? I'm going to show you the box right here. Let me push this back a bit. We're not even going to be using this. There we go. All right. As you can see. And in the back here, it's got some pretty cool looking artwork, okay? Puppet Master. Alright. That's cool. Right there. Alright. Open up the box. You have Blade on your left and Torch on the other side. Okay. It's got some cool artwork too. Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down and take these guys out of the boxes and show you the accessories. Be right back. Okay. Okay, we're back, and each and every time that we pull these little guys out of their boxes, they got these little strings that hold their bodies together, So obviously so you don't lose them. Uh, they're a royal pain in the ass, but once you get your fingers on them, if you have small fingers, that's fine. Big fingers, you struggle with it, but once you snip the one end, it comes out rather easily after that, but it is a struggle to pull these guys out of their boxes. But anyway, this right here is in fact Torch. This piece right here does come off. It's attachable and it attaches to the arm, which I already did. It's, uh, I'm going to show you what he looks like up close and personal here. There you see. He's got some very nice looking detail. Alright. So it's kind of... And when it comes to these figures here, the articulation is very much similar to the bigger ones. I'm pretty sure they got at least 32 points of articulation, including the head does move a little bit, but not much. But the arms do move at the shoulders, elbows, and hands, okay? Same with the legs. They move at the hips, knees, and feet, okay? And these guys do stand rather easily, except for Pinhead. I Just something about him, he will not stand no matter what I do. I think I might have to glue him to the um, one of the NECA stands. Because the other ones will stand no problem. I have all three of them standing up except for uh, Pinhead. He's the only one. But anyway, the color scheme on this is spot on. Look at that. All right. He's like, I shall burn you. Now, the thing about um, these movies, Puppet Master, when I first seen it back in 1985, I think it was, was the last time I actually watched any of these movies. Because I was under the impression it was just a standalone movie. Boy, was I wrong. There is, in fact, a total of 15 of these movies out there right now as we speak. And I do have them sitting on my hard drive right now. I haven't seen them all, but I have seen um, 
the first couple of uh, first three, I think it was a long time ago, but I haven't seen them since. So, but anyway, and now on the bottom of these feet here, as you can see, they don't have any holes in them. All right, and that's what makes them kind of hard to stand. If you want to put them on a NECA stand, you're not going to do that unless you tap a hole into it, small enough for the uh, stand. Okay, but anyway, that's torch right there. Now he does not come with a different head attachment. This is what what you see is what you get. The only thing he comes with is this blue torch flame. Okay, that's the only thing he comes with. Then we're going to get into blade here in a second here. Okay, blade is rather cool. He is the coolest one of the bunch in my opinion. He's very cloak and dagger. Literally, he's cool looking. You pull him in. That is cool. He does come with different attachments and a different head. Okay. Now the hook right there. This is very traditional to the first movie. All right. And obviously he's got the blade. All right. Was that a reflection? No, it's my hand. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, here's the attachment, um, the head. This one here is more like a bloody variant. Sorry. You can see that. Now I'm going to keep the original head on it because it looks cool. And it also comes with this, which is similar to the blade that's on his, uh, his right arm. I had to think about that one. Sorry, guys. But it obviously it's got blood on it. Alright. Let me turn around so you can see the other end of it. Alright. And you just slip it out and slip this one in. And you got the bloody variant. The other one doesn't have blood on it. Which I'll show you here in a second here. But it is a wider blade. From the looks of it. I could be wrong about that. But it has no blood on it. So. Alright. Now, with that being said, <clears throat> I'll show you the other ones here. This is Tunneler. I do, it does come with accessories, but they're in a bag, sitting in the closet. Alright, and that's Tunneler. They are very nicely detailed figures for as small as they are. They did a fantastic job on these. Alright. But like I said, standing-wise, because they're such tiny things, as you can see the feet, they do stand, except for Pinhead. I think it's because of his body weight. Uh, I can, you could probably get him to stand, but unfortunately, it'd be too much trouble. So I'm gonna do something else with it. And that's Pinhead right there, guys. He's another cool one. Pull it in closer so you can see him. Sorry about the shadowing here. All right. Sweater. Okay. So far now, i got the complete collection so far, based on the Puppet Master. These are the original four. I'm sure they created uh, some new characters. Like I said, I haven't seen the other movies, so I don't know if they did or not. But these are the four main characters in the first movie. And I finally got them, okay? These are NECA figures, and they're, they're roughly standing around four inches tall. And like I said, standing-wise, uh, they're a little difficult, so keep that in mind. Articulation wise, they're just like your regular standard uh, NECA figure. Probably has like 32 points of articulation. I didn't look it up, but you can look it up on like um, Amazon.com in their descriptions. They'll tell you the, the articulation, or you can just go right straight to the NECA website. Okay, but that is Pinhead. Okay, but that's it on my collection here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Blade. Signing out. No, just kidding. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day. Okay, bye.